Shush, you're making missing things. Welcome back to home. We are in our house, but it ain't home for us. It's creepy stuff that's happening. We need to find a hammer of some kind. No way it's gonna walk away from us now. So our wife is completely missing. We found her suitcase. She's got a train ticket that she hasn't she's left behind. Yeah. Right, I need to see if Rachel's here. Rachel's not here, bro. The Gravity Key I found in the basement unlocked the door. Oh, nice. It looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did someone break in here? There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I take the crowbar? Yes. I lifted the heavy crowbar and appreciate its weight. Now I have two weapons. Okay, I think that was the only locked door left. So let's get down. We really need to find Rachel now, I feel like. Did I break through the wall with a crowbar? Yes, I did. The heave, I swung the crowbar against the wall. I smashed a hole large enough to step through. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught my throat. This was it. Was Rachel down here? Was she okay? How would she be down here? Don't look. Wait, what's happening? Don't look. A filthy looking power of bags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what was laid in it, but I knew I had to. I'd come this far. After all the searching, after all I've seen, they look with the rags. They're finally find my Rachel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, we have to look. I ha we have to know. Oh no, no please. Among the same fabric and watching older, my wife's body lay crumbled in a heap. A single bloody wound had ripped open her chest and were thankfully the details were obscured by blood and dirt. I could tell she had been shot. The thought of the handgun had taken made me wrench. So this was the feeling in the pit of my stomach, the tingling of that brought me back. I had finally come home and my wife was dead. I thought that all I had seen and wondered if any of it could help me figure out who had done this. And when I couldn't stay there any longer, I stepped away on shaky legs and made my way back upstairs. Reluctantly, exhausted from my journey, I could no longer resist the urge to close my eyes. Don't blame you, I'm sorry, dude. Maybe I could use some of the Rachel's travel books and find some place to go. Do no matter what, I needed some kind of escape. Where am I? I'm in the bedroom. Where's the suitcase gone? I don't trust this. Why did you fall asleep? Well, I guess why, but why? This little photo of that other man and his wife, I assumed. I found it in that house. I recalled those fated remains I found deep beneath this house. What had he done there? Well, what did I think? Was that man involved in this whole mess somehow? The man and the wife. So at the beginning, I actually think everything's unconnected because, because it, it can't be a coincidence and like the place is connected. It's connected for us. We literally walk through every single one of those places and maybe we're the connection, but that doesn't mean like it doesn't exclude us from being the murderer, but it could be someone else, it could be us, but it is interconnected. So I'm gonna go yes. Definitely, those tunnels, the old tools in his house, the remains of his wife, he wasn't innocent, that's for sure. But then the few broken pieces that remained of that mirror, I could see my face had gone pale and weak. I couldn't bear to look again. It was like I didn't actually expect a reflection, about empty and drained. Perhaps I will never know what that mirror came to be broken. Was it by Rachel's assailant or by Rachel herself? The thought lingered and it haunted me forever. I'm just gonna double check everything now. The reflection in that grimy glass was only a shadow or a whisper. Rachel loved this part of the house. You know, the toilet and the bath right next to each other. It was the keycard they found in the factory, the one that allowed me to slip through that door. 
It seems to me that it's probably Norman, but if that was true, what was he doing back there at the plant? Did I think Norman was going back to the factory? Possibly. I don't remember where the key card was, but there's no key card reader on the other side. So how did he get in that way? Why would no one go back? Technically, okay, if the key card is his, he could definitely have had it back from those olden days of working in the plant. He could have still had it on him. He could have used it to go back. But the key card is only useful for that one particular door, which has a shortcut route straight to his his new shop. It the key card was found inside the factory. And but no one could have easily broken back in. It's not like the door was locked or anything. Could have gone through the front entrance or the back entrance, wherever we came from, put the key part away, and... No, because that would make sense. You couldn't sweep, you couldn't swipe the key card thing, run all the way back, put the key card down somewhere else, and run through that door before it closed. Do I think that no one was going back to the factory? I don't think so. I don't think s I think someone else is going to the factory. I think someone else was going through all our stuff. Because he wouldn't have to break into his own locker if it was him. I'm going to go now. No, somebody else was using that locker room, but who? I don't know for certain, but I'm just, I'm just trying to think. The laptop had finally run out of power. How long had it been left running? I don't know. Why didn't you plug it in? Why wasn't it plugged in? I never made it on my mind. Okay, so this is like the final... What do you remember? I went in this place, didn't I? Yep. I'm just double checking. I'm gonna double check stuff. I old office safe sat on the floor. I used a digital card called lock to try to use open it. Yes. The safe used eight digit code. What was that damn code again? I don't know. I left leaf with the notebook I'd taken for the force. In where were the names that have been written down? Heather? Olivia. Ashley Cheryl, Isis, Daphne, Holly, Rose, Rachel. I recall the names I saw scratched down the old desk deep within those dusty tunnels. Was the man in the house really up to something? Was he the one responsible for Rachel's murder? But I had found him dead. This is a part of lot. I didn't think it was important at the time. Well, I do think it's important. I don't know eight digit code. I'll come back to it, hopefully. I don't think the game is giving me an eight digit code. I couldn't leave, not until I had thought about it this more. I needed some answers. Yeah, fair enough, buddy. There was really no more diner, di diners. Dinner's here. No more chit chat over breakfast, at least not for us. I couldn't recall when I last ate, but I wasn't hungry in the least. I must have locked the door, there was no reason to return to the backyard anyway. If you say so. I couldn't go back down, not until I got another thing. I need to make sure I was perfectly clear. So I need this eight digit code. There was a letter I have taken from the post box. Who went out for Norman? Who sent them that letter? It must have been someone from the neighborhood, or at least someone who wanted to look at that way. I wasn't sure what to think. Did Norman, did he murder Rachel? Rachel was shot with the shotgun I currently have, which you found way back in the tunnels. It's Norman's weapon originally. He had it. However, Norman was killed by somebody else breaking into his place and killing him while he watched TV. Why would Norman, if Norman sh If he Norman Rachel, he definitely has the means he definitely has the opportunity since I wasn't here, I don't remember stuff. I don't know his motive. What would his motive be? I guess... Love gone wrong or something? But, like, what is happening? But Norman was being threatened, saying... She's mine. Leave her alone. So I think Norman was killed over Rachel. I could see that 
someone would kill someone else if they said they want to leave you for someone else. But I don't know if that fits into the timeline of... Because no one would have to go from his place, pick up the shotgun, go over to my house, shoot Rachel, dump the body. Go all the way back to the tunnels, leave the shotgun for some weird ass reason, go back to his place, sit down with his dinner in front of the TV, and then someone comes in and is like, surprise. Did Norman kill Rachel? I don't think so. If he did, I understand, I can see why, but I don't think so because it's it's. Why would the shotgun be in the tunnels? I know it's his shotgun, but like it's not like he had them locked down or anything. I mean, I. You know. And someone could easily gotten angry, gone after Norman. Killed him with- he didn't get shot, did he? He got hit by a crowbar? No. He got hit by something else, didn't he? Well, even if he got shot, someone could break in his place, steal guns, or pick up- brought their own weapon, killed him, and took the shotgun with them. But then why would they kill Rachel? Well, technically, they could have gone after Rachel, shot her, and then take the, mach the gun back to the tunnels. I think that makes more sense that somebody else shot Rachel and, and killed Norman and to then bring the gun to the tunnels than it is for Norman to have shot Rachel, taken the gun to the tunnels and did nothing. I don't know. I'm trying to remember the details. My brain is too overloaded. Did Norman kill me or Rachel? I don't think so, so I'm going to say no. No way, no one had entered it uh, did himself. Whoever sent that fighting letter must have gotten to him. But who the hell was that? I definitely think this is a gay's way of testing what we found out. But now I have no one to get angry with me for stupid things like buying this TV. Just thinking about things will make me sink with this grief. Damn this town, I only wanted that place to sit down on this madness. Yeah, blame the town, that's fair. Okay, oh my god, so... This code is not in the game. It's a bit... weird. And I was I had to look this up, but... It's actually in the game's user manual, which is a bit bizarre, and... I had to look at it, and it's, it's just like a simple introduction, uh, but the, there's one page in particular that seems to have glitched out and in the brackets they have um, some letters and numbers all jumbled up and if you put them in together it should technically work so my old office safe for that of course. I don't know what's in it, I haven't looked ahead just... Jesus Christ that sound... okay so 4 R 3 U oh no, not 2 U her free. The cold work. I pulled open the small safe door and peered inside. There was a photo in there of Rachel and I when we first moved into town. And it was smiling outside the front of the house, which looked like a real mess. We looked happy though. Odd. I couldn't remember who took that photo. Inside the safe was also an envelope. The front of it read, Do not open until I tell you. I guess this was a good time to any to see what was inside. Did I open the envelope and read what was inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so, yeah. Might as well. I tore the envelope open and remembered and removed the yellow lined paper inside. On it was a letter written in hand that looked familiar. The letter read, I know this whole event has probably been pretty difficult. You can't imagine how hard it's been for me too. Well, maybe you can. This isn't meant to be an excuse, but... Well, I hope you can be better. You can better understand why I've done what I've done. Moving to this town seemed like such a dream. A quiet place to get established, to live our lives, and to be together. But you know, as well as I do, that things change quickly. Really change. Your drinking was one thing, but you grew more distant as you retreated into that world of yours. Well, it was clear that you didn't need me as much. In fact, maybe you never, ne you never needed me at all. But it took all this to make you realize. In the end, though, you might never forgive me for this. You may never forgive yourself, but this is probably for the best. You'll be healthier for this. I'm 
I'm just sorry that it had to happen this way. Oh, okay, okay. I think, though, that letter is was Rachel's, like, sorry I'm skipping town without you or I'm breaking up with you. So I don't think that has to do with anything or murder, but <laughs> dot, 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 dot. So I'm gonna call that the input. Oh, okay. <sighs> Gosh. Damn. So I think that was nothing to do with how she was killed. It seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe I thought I was ready to go back in the basement. Let's go. There was nothing for me here anyway, or anymore. No reason to stay in that house. Did I leave, never to return? No. I felt like I had to think about it a bit more. I, I'm just gonna double check on stuff. I don't wanna miss, miss something out. Maybe there was anything but I had to take at least a look. Oh, basement. If I wanted to edit, I could do it. I could do it without that gun. Did I pick it up again? No. God, no. Just the thought made my head spin. I left the gun on the cold basement floor. Yes, you did. Now I stood there, I realized I couldn't go back into that room again. I've already seen too much. I need to put an end to the situation one way or another. That sounds bad. I'm not doing the gun route, though. But now I don't have the gun on me. Probably for the best. Last check around the house. So this guy, this guy's been drinking. So he's the one that's been leaving all the bottles around. Like I said, everything is connected. But it might not, it might be him, it might be someone else. Damn this town. It's one of the places to sit down. Just thinking about things like that just made me sink with grief. Perhaps I would never know how that mirror came to be broken. Was it by Rachel's son but Rachel herself? The thought lingered and it would haunt me forever. But who had killed him? Good question. It's like, well, it's gonna be her, him. No matter what, I needed some kind of escape. Okay, I, that's everything. There's nothing else here for us. Time to leave. Is this way you leave? This is where we leave. There was nothing for me here anymore. No reason to stay in the house. Did I leave never to return? Yes, because there's nothing for us. Living in this town had been easy. The plant had helped in some way to stay grounded. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. I had MRIs and piles of doctor's reports, but nothing ever seemed to help. Not even drinking. But I swear I had tried to give it all up. I know it. Sleepwalking never really went away, though. But I know Rachel had tried. I know she had tried to be there for me, even when everything was falling apart. This night I had an earth and terrible truce, but I knew it was the final act of a long-standing horror I'd been living. Waking up in that house tonight was the final cruelty. I wish I remained unconscious in that room forever. It was a... a it was obvious to me that the man I had found in that house had something to do with all this. Could he have killed Rachel? It started to seem there was too many things I seemed to think otherwise. After making out of those tunnels, I thought those sewers might have felt safer. I was wrong. The security tape I had watched showed someone being attacked by what looked like two people. But who was that? But who was it that was attacked? Deep within those woods, though, there was where things truly became awful. Finding that book only made things worse. Rachel's names had been on that list. So what terrible plot was she a part of? There was a similar list of names that just back in those tunnels. Was that the connection? Whatever had happened, I knew I at least that Norman wasn't going to be the one who kept going back to the factory. I hoped it meant that he had nothing to do with the guard's violent end. But who had been rooting through those lockers and drinking or drinking in that boarded up room? After the factory, I thought I might find some solid if I could just get to Norman's store. All I had found was more horrors and more questions. Now I really considered it. That's when I should have seen it coming. Damn, Norman, how did you get mixed up in all this? I know you weren't a perfect man, none of us are, but you didn't deserve this. Maybe whoever done 
UN was responsible for the other murders that happened in that town. At the very least, I was convinced you and Rachel were killed by the same person. I just really hope that you would find some peace, my friend. I know I never will, will, would. When I had marched through the rain towards home, I desperately clung to the hope that this would end. And I guess in a way it did, but how could I have known how hopeless it would, it all was? I started to feel as disoriented as I, as when I sleepwalked. Think of it now. I guess I should have known from the terrible silence that greeted me when I first stepped in that house and stood there in that kitchen. There was no sound of television, radio, even the air was still, but I see Rachel there lying ruined and discarded in the basement. That was a horror I could never have imagined. I didn't know if I ever find the answers I craved, but I knew that somehow the other man I had found was responsible for this. If not directly, he must have had a hand in Rachel's death. So what was I doing in that damn house of his? Had they found out? Had they killed him? My damn condition made it difficult to know memory. Memories and time frames were always a mess and I could never be sure. Knowing that the man was dead though was com comfort. My wife was gone and no matter what had happened to me now, I was lost forever. As I swung the door open and stepped out into the air, I caught the scent of wet grass and fog. Rachel, my beautiful wife, just the thought of her again. Cold and hurt shot me from head to toe. What would I do now? Who would I turn to? It would be only a matter of time before the police would get involved before the neighbours knew. The front door was soft and gi giving beneath my feet. And I couldn't shake all the urge I shouldn't stand there. But rather that I should run. Oh. <laughs> and that's the end? Wow. Wow. Okay. Jeez, that was, uh, intense. That was some creepy-ass stuff, even though there wasn't actually anything to really be frightened to, but, man. And, like, even the huge battle, it, 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 it made it perfectly clear that the choices. My home is dedicated to my wife, Nancy. Watch your back. Oh. Um, the end. Choices matter. What you picked up, what you didn't pick up, changed it. Wow, that was amazing. I wonder how it could be different. Is was there an answer? Possibly. Might be tempted. I mean, it didn't take me too long to play for this game. I might be tempted to play through it and see if I can find the answer if that's possible. So I think I found all the answers. I don't know if I found the connections between those answers though. I don't know, it's so... It's, it's difficult to tell. And we don't have a clear timeline of events, really. So, if it is possible, I might play this again. Let me know what you guys think. That was really amazing. And this experience was meant to be... You know... Very... I don't want to say low budget, because that seems like cheap. But it was done... So that anybody can kind of play it, like any machine could play it. Which I think is fascinating because more people can play it that way. And even though like the mechanics of only having that like flashlight and the rest of the screen was completely dark, that was terrifying. Adding some creepy sounds, just having a second set of footprints around, that was really creepy. Having the option to have pick up weapons that were covered in blood, that was very creepy. You know, and the more the story you found out, the more you wish didn't, you know? Oh man. I don't ever play this game. This game is very cheap. Go check it out for yourself. I'm sure there's multiple different ways of playing this game. And there's a lot of choices, so goodness knows what you can come up with. So go check it out for yourself. Link is in the description down below. But that is it for this video, guys. Hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, why subscribe for more awesome content. I'll see you next.